Today we're going to be looking at TikTok to go from bad to worse. So every TikTok in this video starts off really badly and then it gets even worse. I know you got married young, but it couldn't have been that bad. I met him when I was 14 and he was 32. And he was married with a child already. I met him at a Baptist church where he was the teen youth leader. Then once he groomed me from the age of 14 to 17, we started dating. He knew I wanted to join the army and he had been in the army previously, so he was training me. Then after three weeks of us dating, he's put me through a glass table. I'm so sorry, what? Also, keep in mind, this TikTok is 2 minutes and 30 seconds. We're 35 seconds into it, so, so far, she was getting groomed by a 32-year-old whenever she was 13. Then they started dating, and then they got married. And then apparently, you put her through a glass table. What's going on here? Because one of our roommates had a boyfriend, and it was my fault that he was looking at me. And then I had to work, and I had to provide our house, and pay rent, and utilities, and so on and so forth. But I wasn't allowed to work with men. What the hell? And so because I had to work with men and I had no other choice, uh, it was my fault and I was cheating on him with those men that I worked with. Then when I joined the army, because I was a medic, I was obviously stationed with a lot of men. And my first duty station was an infantry unit, which has tons of men. So obviously I was cheating with all of them and that was my fault. And I got punished for it. And then because I was working with so many men, I had rules of the rest of the time that I had to spend with him 24-7. Couldn't go out with any of my friends from work. Couldn't go to lunches or dinners. Couldn't participate in the SFRG events, even though other spouses were there. Wasn't allowed to go. Because obviously I was cheating on those, on him with those people, with their wives there. What the hell? And then I couldn't do certain things that are reasonable human things. I couldn't go to the grocery store if there was a male clerk. Couldn't go to... The doctor, if I had a male doctor, even if it was an emergency, and if I did, I'd get punished. For example, I had to go to the hospital because I was hemorrhaging, because I have endometriosis. The emergency room physician was a man. That man had to do a vaginal exam. I got my sh RKO'd Chris Brown 1-2 comboed. Then I caught him cheating because I finally went through his phone because he would always go through my phone and I wasn't allowed to go through his. But I went through his because I woke up while I was asleep on his chest in bed and he was texting me. So I went through his phone and caught him and he stabbed me. <laughs> Could have been worse. <laughs> I'm so sorry, what was that? That felt like a 10 series Netflix documentary. We're just gonna ignore the first bit, but basically it's very controlling and he groomed you. And then he accused you of constantly cheating on him and then it turns out in the end he cheated on you. I've actually noticed that a lot of times with relationships. Usually if a partner is constantly paranoid that you're cheating on them, it's because they've been cheating on you and they're paranoid that you're gonna find out about them. But he stabbed you? What's going on there? Yet again, this is why I have to be careful being around church boys, because I'm telling you, every single time I hear about church boy, it never ends well. Okay, I would never blame you because I won't victim blame but how did no one around you stop this before it went that far genuinely interested well i mean a lot of times these people are very very good at hiding who they truly are like these men they're crazy i just can't get over the fact that like it went on and on and on all i needed to hear was teen youth leader at a baptist church exactly like i'm telling you that's a massive red flag and yet again 99.9% of the men are completely fine but it's one percent like him that ruined it for everyone it kept getting worse and worse exactly that's the whole point of this video tiktoks to go from bad to worse this ain't a side eye bombastic side eye blank stare death Sarah full glare. This is just a whole staring in your whatever that is. I don't even know what that is. Well, I mean, I'm hoping that you got out of that relationship because that right there sounded traumatic. Oh my god, you're my perfect girl, my dream girl. I'm a male. I'm a man. I'm a he. No boobs. <laughs> Okay, so that person right there, I'm not sure what their pronouns are, if they're a man, woman, etc. I see them in Twitter and they're so popular. I notice that a lot of the times, guys are actually very much into trans girls. They really like whenever a gay guy, you know, cross-dresses or puts on drag. Which kind of makes me think why so many Republicans, especially the older ones, are against it. But yet again, 99.9% .9 of them are gay anyways. Like, I swear there's been so many stories about Republicans who are, like, anti-LGBTQ, but then it turns out they're, like, gay themselves. Unexpected item in bagging area. I mean, don't get me wrong, most people would probably love that unexpected item. Am I gay if I follow? Just asking. I mean, here's a wee thing for you girlies at home. If your boyfriend is following a lot of gay femme twangs, there's a high possibility that they might be into that. Oh my god, you're just my type. How are you still single? Transgender. Probably autistic. Never had a real job. Would probably cry if he touched a wooden spoon. 
literally has a fully grown adult man nonce walking around with a tattoo of me on his leg as a child. What? IBS. I'm so sorry, forget about all them other things, don't care about them. Someone is walking around with a tattoo of you as a child on their leg. I mean, were they a fangirl, a fanboy? I'm quite interested by that. You remind me of I'm Alex so much. I mean, I'm gonna be completely honest to me, that sounds like a bit of an insult. Someone else commented British. I mean, to be fair, the way the UK is right now, to be British basically is an insult. Thank God with me, I'm Northern Irish, so I can be like, oh my God, yeah, I'm Irish, I'm British, and a Northern Irish. Look at me, I'm like the three musketeers mashed into one. Oh my God, what the f you're literally my dream girl. She see me on UK gossip. Cool, we established I'm toxic. Oh my god, I am literally insane. I'll mash man's jaw up, fam, still. Videos like that are my favourite types of videos. Like, I was seeing videos like that on TikTok, but it was like a guy and a meagle. Basically, it's kind of like my meagle troll videos where, like, you know, he had a wig on, he looked like a female, and then, you know, he'd gas up the men, and then he put on his deep voice, and, like, it would freak them out. But I'm telling you, them videos are my favourite things ever. They're just so funny. I think he's just so freaky. He can literally go from, like, a really high-pitched voice to a really deep one. Like, it really freaks you out. Roadman girl boss. I mean, yeah, that basically is what he is. Like, if it's a guy who looks like a girl, but is a guy, but is also a girl, like, what is that? A roadman girl boss? I guess that's what they are. I wish I could do this exactly like I really wish I could put on like a really high pitched voice because I'm telling you right now if I could my makeup videos would be a lead like they would actually be next level amazing imagine me and a makeup with a high pitched voice with my wig on because I kind of do look like a girl when I forgot my wig on but who knows maybe I'll turn my voice to be a bit more higher pitched once my best friend wanted to lose her virginity so badly she went up to her brother's best friend and asked if they could so of course he said yes like how <laughs> but the worst part was he didn't even put it in the you know what girls normally have he put it in the and we just talk about unexpected item in bagging area. Worst part was he didn't even know because it felt so familiar. Oh my god! So fast forward to like now, her brother's best friend and her brother are dating now, so that's why it felt so familiar because they were doing it before her. I'm so sorry, but I need to get the last bit again. So her brother and his best friend are dating like in a gay relationship. Yeah. So fast forward to like now, her brother's best friend and her brother are dating now, so that's why it felt so familiar because they were doing it before her. Yeah, I mean, oh god. Sometimes whenever you see two friends who are very, very close, I always think in the back of my head, are they experimenting with each other? There's a rumor from my area from like years ago, there's these two girls who were like best friends and they were like bestie besties. Like they were literally known for being best friends. They've been friends for such a long time. It turned out the whole time they were like dating each other secretly, but like nobody knew so they were like lesbians. But it kind of makes me think like with my straight friends, if they ever experimented. Because in my school, there's definitely some boys who are very, very close. I mean, think of it, a group of boys that get curious and want to try things out. I mean, I'm not against it, but I love how you basically he done the same thing to her that he done to her brother. Oh my god, he took two bodies from the same family. That's a bit traumatic. Unexpected item in bagging area. I can't, I mean, it was definitely like that for her. You know, for the guys, it's kind of normal because, like, that's really the only hole they can do it. Before her, and he said yes, exactly. The whole time he was doing her brother up the bum, and then he done her up the bum. I mean, talk about being greedy. I went through the five stages of grief watching. It's exactly like my job's on the floor. That TikTok really did go from bad to worse, didn't it? Her brother's best friend and her brother are now dating slaves. I mean, yeah, do you want? know something i'm happy that they're you know themselves and would be happy but it's the fact that he done the sister and the brother does the brother know that he was doing his sister i mean that's just confusing like that right there is going to give me a stroke <coughs> oh oh no That baby went through the five stages of grief within the space of about four seconds. The suspended disbelief. Exactly. It's literally like the baby's looking at her to see how it should react. Criminal offensive side. I, I mean, that baby's forehead looked like my skin after I've been sat in the bath for about 40 minutes. It's too funny when babies take a second to cry like they have to test if it hurts or not. Exactly. That's actually something I would talk about. I feel like with kids, they don't really know how to react. A kid can literally fall over and they will look at you to see if they should cry or not. I see it all the time and it's like if you literally don't look at them, they'll be completely fine and get up and move on. But if you look at them and you're like, oh my God, are you okay? Like, you're literally gonna die. They'll start crying. I did not expect to laugh so hard so violently. I mean, yeah, I just think it's so funny whenever babies cry. <coughs> like, look, it kind of decides whether to cry or not. <coughs> the baby took four seconds to decide whether I should cry or just, like, not cry at all. What's he gonna do? He's not gonna jump, is he? Oh! Oh my god! 
What is up with people and watching football? Like, I swear, all they do is jump. He even used the door frame to jump. Exactly. It's like he purposely jumped under it. No, because why do all football blokes stand up before final whistle? My husband paces and it stresses me out. Exactly. They either stand up and pace around or they jump or throw something at, like, the TV. I've seen so many videos online where, like, people literally punch their TVs whenever, like, their team scores. It's like, surely you do that if your team failed, not whenever they actually score. Pigeon was found carrying a small backpack filled with crystal meth last week at the Pacific Institution in Abbotsford. The correctional facility staff says the bird was spotted with its bag of drugs in the yard on December 29th and officers set up a trap to catch it. They say they're always on the lookout for drones, but this is the first time they've encountered a pigeon drug smuggler. The warden has confirmed a recent- Well, I'm just confused that they arrest the pigeon. Like, is the pigeon literally behind bars? Bro, how you arrest a pigeon? Exactly. Like, I'm just so confused. You're telling me there's someone in the outside world put drugs in a backpack and put it on the pigeon and flew the pigeon into jail. So the pigeon was basically working as, like, a delivery driver. Free up the pigeon, he innocent. Exactly. Like, what do they do with that pigeon? Do they arrest it? Do they kill it? Do they track it? Like, I'm just so confused. That's another level of creativity. I mean, honestly, I blame lockdown. Lockdown has made people go- absolutely cuckoo. Everyone was normal before lockdown, now everyone's absolutely insane. Like they're literally turning pigeons into drug dealers. Oh wow. <laughs> Yet again, why are babies crying? Like, I swear they always cry for nothing. This is why we need to stop babies. Like, this is why we need to stop giving birth to them. Bro's traumatized for life. I mean, by the looks of it, he's only been alive for about 20 minutes and he's already crying. Bro was a bit flabbergasted. I mean, yeah, honestly, he did look like he was proper sh himself. We have to watch one last time because his reaction is just so funny. So look, there's loads of fire. And then get ready, look so shocked. <laughs> like, why is the baby crying? The baby's crying for no reason. A Spanish actress has had her dead son's baby by a surrogacy. Last week, Ana Obregón revealed that she had become a mum again at 68 years old. But what we didn't know then was that although she's officially registered as the baby's mother, the child is actually her granddaughter because the father is her son. Is still keeping up? Ana Obregón's son, Alice, died from cancer in 2020, but... A sample of his sperm was frozen and stored in New York before he died. Anna says it was her son's final wish for her to carry on his legacy and bring a child of his own into the world. Surrogacy is when a woman agrees to carry and give birth to a child on behalf of someone else. It's not legal in Spain, but adopting a child born abroad is lawful. The biological mother who carried the baby is believed to be a woman of Cuban origin living in Florida. The actress's age, as well as the fact that all forms of surrogacy are banned in Spain, has sparked a national debate, with Equality Minister Irene Montero calling the practice a form of violence against women. But Anne Obregón says these views are absurd and refuses to rule out having more babies with her son's sperm. I mean, do you want to know something? I was thinking the whole time that she was the actual surrogate, so like she was pregnant with the baby. That wasn't as bad as what I thought it was. But why is surrogacy banned in Spain? You know, if someone's not able to have a child, they should be able to have one with their husband, but via surrogate. Why are you talking about it's like violence against women? Shut up. Still incest and higher chance for abnormities. I don't think that's the case because she didn't give birth to the child, a Cuban woman did. The whole time I was literally thinking like the mum was pregnant again at 68. What's sad is she's nearly 70. So she's going to have what, 10 to 20 years with the kids? selfish. I mean, yeah, I kind of do agree with that. You know, I feel like there should be a certain age where people maybe shouldn't have babies. I would say maybe after age of like 55. Because think of it, if you have a child whenever you're 55, that child is going to be 15 when you're 70. There's a high possibility you could be dead by the time that child's 20 and that's quite sad, isn't it? I swear there's like a singer called Mick Jagger had like a baby when he was like 60 or something like that. It's like whenever he's 80, 90, that baby's going to be 20 years old. But yeah, thank God that Spanish woman didn't give birth to her baby's son because if she did, it would come out looking like a blobfish. Well, anyways, guys, that's some TikTok to go from bad to worse. If you want to see me watch more of these insane TikToks, let me know definitely will. Press back, subscribe, and see you all tomorrow for another video.